What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So today we are gonna be reacting to your first time experiences. We went on Instagram, we asked you guys to share your experiences with us, your first time experience. We're keeping it anonymous just for your guys' privacy. Janice has a lot of crazy stories. <laughs> yeah. Like some, I'm not gonna lie, there's some in there that were like questionable. Yeah, some of them I'm just like, I'm not sharing that because it made me uncomfortable. Yeah, and some of them sounded like criminal-like. Yeah, I'm like, uh, maybe like, you should talk to somebody. Maybe yeah. us is not the person to tell this to. Yeah, I don't think that we're, the, yeah, yeah, we're not, we're not gonna get into that. Yeah. <laughs> but, are you ready? I'm ready. All right, so she's gonna read them off and we're gonna react to it and give our thoughts. So first one, they said, I had to do it in front of my best friend and she was telling me what to do the whole time. Time out, time out, time out, time out. Well, what? You're doing it in front of your best friend and she's telling you how to do it. Can you imagine that? That's actually crazy, like a live coach. Like, can you imagine that? Imagine the first time like we were doing it, your best friend is over here telling you what to do. <laughs> That's just awkward. How could you even like get intimate in front of your friends? Like I've heard so many stories of people like getting intimate in like a room with like other people and I just don't understand how that can happen. No, yeah, I can't do that. Even if like we're under the covers and stuff, I, I can't do that. Me either. Like, it needs to be private. But your friend telling you what to do while doing it is crazy. Yeah. What was your boyfriend doing at this point? Like I know, right? Was he be like, yeah, yeah, do do what she said? Like is is he like going with that? I don't know. Wait, I low-key think that it was a guy who said this. So like a female oh, friend in the room. No, no, no. Yeah, no. they're like, no, like you have to do this and do that. I mean, hey, if that's what you're comfortable with and I mean the girl is happy then I guess that's all that matters. Whoa. All right, that's just that's okay Next one next one next one. All right next one is I lost my v-card in a public park behind a tree And my family still doesn't know about it. Why behind a tree? <laughs> Literally probably to block them You couldn't do it like under the slides or something or like oh the under the slide What if there was no slide, but there was a tree at a park. Yeah, there's you got a park trees and no everywhere tree. and no slides in a, in a, in a park it could be like a big park, like, you know, like a field. I would have did it behind a bush. More coverage. That's just me. Bruh. Think about it. A bush is going to cover you more than a tree. I think it's crazy, like, when people, like, because I feel like when people lose their V-card, it's at, like, a desperate time. I feel like they're young and they're trying to find, like, and I feel like that's what causes, like, situations like this. Would you do it in a park? No. You wouldn't? No. All right, well, that <laughs> answers my next question. What? What? Next one is, okay, this one I feel like is cap, 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 but I was just like, it's so crazy. Low key, I just have to say it. So this person said, I lost my V-card while I was at high school with my high school English teacher and we did it in the classroom and it was a guy, so the teacher was a female. I don't think it's cap. I, I There's a lot of stories on the news where you see teachers doing things with their students now. I just, I don't know. I feel like that's cap. I like, don't think it's cap at all. I can honestly see that going down. I feel like that goes down way more often than it needs to be. More often than it should. I just think that that's so crazy. Like for that to happen and then like you don't even like, I don't know. Would you do that that's, in high school with your teacher? No. Nah. You're crazy. It's a, if I was in high school, I would have did it. Because you're a guy. Bro, and my teacher is like, not, what? You're crazy. That is assault. That is not correct. Think about it. It is assault. Like, How what are you talking about? If you're having intercourse with a minor, it doesn't matter. I'm the minor. That's what I'm saying. It's not assault to me. I'm not taking it as assault. It is though. Okay, legally, yes. Am I gonna go in court and be like, yeah, she assaulted me? No. All I'm saying is me personally, if I was in high school, 16, 17 years old, and I found my teacher hot and she was with it, I'm with it. Okay, now think of this scenario. Say you have a child and they're having sex 100%, with their older teacher. 100%, 100%, it's wrong. Oh, Ask wait. every guy out there, if they were in high school and they found their teacher hot, 100%, the guy's like, yeah, I, I definitely would've did it with my teacher. Okay, but I'm saying, say you have like a son and his older teacher ends it's up- It's wrong, I'd be pissed. Exactly, so like- You're getting too deep into it. No, I'm not. This is valid points. All I'm saying is I would've did it if I was in high school. I would've been like, yeah, like teacher, let, let's do it, man. You're with it, I'm with it, let's do it. That's just so wrong. Anyway. <laughs> all the other guys I'm sure out there would agree with me. For Not group. really. Bro, all my friends, you know my friends had crushes on their teachers and they would have loved to do stuff with their teachers. Okay, but that's like things that you imagine. That's not things that you would actually do. Because it's very unlikely to happen. Because However, it's wrong. if it were to happen, all the guys would be for it. Well, it's wrong on the 100%, it's part. illegal. No, 100%, yes. 
Yes. Disgusting. Men are gross. Anyway. Okay. All right, next one. Um. Okay, so this girl said, it was so horrible. He was done in literally a minute and swore he did something. I was so mad. Damn. Common, very common. One Men always chump. think that they did something because I had so many guys like, oh, I, I did like so many positions, blah, blah, blah. Like my first time I, I ate that. Da, da, da. I'm like. You got mad responses like that? Yes. Okay. Like guys like bragging about how they did so good their first time. Like, you know, damn well, go and ask the female that you did that stuff with and let me know if she feels the same. Cause I guarantee you that's all your ego and that's all in your head. Cause I none can, of these females is having fun. I can proudly say 90% of the time she finishes first. All right, can we not, we're not talking about us. Bro, what? I'm saying the first time. We're talking about our first time, like everybody's first time. Yeah, but she's coming at him because he finished quick. Yeah, well, that was just like okay, bad. like dang, bro, like let him live, like round two, then. It's not that. It's that like maybe it's because he was bragging, like oh I did that, da da da. She was like, boy, no, you didn't. No, yeah, I mean, well, if you finish first and your girl's not satisfied, bro, then I mean, you got some work to do. Pretty much. On to the next one. Some guy said, never thought I would finish so much my first time. So basically, that was a little too detailed. He finished like a lot. That, that made me uncomfortable. He used a term, and I'm not gonna. Say it. Blank pie. Damn. First time you got that? <laughs> Damn. I'm just like, all right. Well, that's good you know, for we you. should do that. The pie thing. Moving on. <laughs> <laughs> all right. It was disappointing and not what it said the novels, <laughs> not what it said it was going to be like in the novels. Disappointment is an understatement. Damn. That's bro. sad. Disappointment is an understatement? It was that bad? Yeah, literally. Like, men think that the first time for girls is supposed to be, like, great, but it's probably only good for the guy majority of the time. That sucks for women. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm sorry you guys go through that. Yeah. And then, you yeah, know, sometimes when you, like, do it young and stuff like that, maybe guys just, like, think that they're just hyped that they lost their V card and girls are just like, why did I do this? <laughs> yeah, it is. Like, yeah, teenagers a lot of guys are like so to dumb. Brag. Yeah, mm -hmm. a lot of guys love to brag. Are we on to the last one? Yeah, this is the last one. Um, I wanted Isaiah to save. His... I wanted to save the last one for me. Ready? Because okay, yeah. I wanted to get her reaction for this. Jesus. So I, I already, honestly, I remembered it. That's how bad it was. What the hell? Okay. Yeah, it was short and to the point, but I remembered it. It was that bad. So he said, we got right into it. Few pumps in, she had explosive diarrhea. You're lying. I will show you it if you don't believe it. I feel it. like that's cap too. Do you want to see it? I know, I, I know. I believe that they said it, but I'm just like, I feel like scenarios like that is so cap. I don't think so because I know someone in high school who went through that. Are you serious? I'm not going to say his name, but yes, one of my boys. We don't talk anymore, but yeah. Who? Wait. I'm, Do I know I'm, him? You know who it is. You, who? No, no. Oh, that's the first person I thought of. No, he looked like that. Like... He looked like that. <laughs> yeah. No, not him. No. no. Uh, I'll, I'll tell you after the video. But yeah, I 100% believe that happened. If that, that's that's horrible. That's nasty. That's terrible. I'm sorry for you. I feel bad for the girl. Imagine the embarrassment. Yeah, but like, girl. And imagine that was her first time, and she. Sh oh my god. Like, if you got a dookie, go to the toilet. Yo, but I'm, oh my god, that's a that's the definition of. No, that is embarrassing. Though she was probably so nervous, she probably got IBS. Oh, uh, thank you, babe. <laughs> thank you. Just because you have IBS doesn't mean she had IBS. Thank Bro, you. there's no way that you're gonna diarrhea on yourself if you don't have issues with your stomach. Maybe she had Taco Bell right before. You shouldn't be doing that. If you know you about to get it in, why are you eating Maybe she didn't feel it, and then when they started doing it, that's when she, you know, was like, oh my god, my stomach's rumbling. Boom. Hershey squirt. That's interesting. That's nasty. Maybe it's like- I, I don't think I would've been with her after that. Are you serious? Bro. Oh, that's if, sad. If we're doing it for the first time and you go ahead and do that on me, I'm, I'm never gonna see you the same again. Oh my gosh, wait, can I tell a story that I know? What? Oh my gosh, wait, it doesn't have to do with like doing it, but like this one girl I know, um, she was like, I guess giving somebody, you know what, in a club mm -hmm. and he pushed her head in. Mm -hmm. And when he pushed her head in, she fucking threw up everywhere, like on him, everywhere. Like, and they were drinking and everybody, like my friends told me the story and like, apparently it was like all over their section. Nope. Like nope. it was that bad, nope. like profuse. I'm never doing that at a club. I'm never probably gonna wanna do that with the girl ever again. <laughs> I'm never going clubbing with those people again. 
I'm not going to that club again. Yeah, no, nah, that's a no for me. That was a horrible experience. I probably wouldn't show my face in that county. <laughs> yeah, that. So like. That's gonna be all over the place. Yeah, and I know the girl, and like she has a really bad you reputation. You know the girl? She has bad rep. What? Yeah, they they were all went to my middle school. So what? like, yeah, this is third high school though. What? See, yeah. I'd be wanting to get into these conversations. I kind of want to do a podcast. <laughs> Low key. I, that, do a podcast. I feel like we should do a podcast. Like, make this channel a podcast channel. If you guys want us to turn this into a podcast channel, let us know because I'd be wanting to like have debates and like. Me too. Real conversations that can last maybe like a good hour. So and we always be getting into it. And we always got the second vlog channel where we do like our life stuff and food stuff. So mm -hmm. if you guys want this to turn into like a little podcast kind of thing, let us know. We'll make that happen because I got I got stories for days. Yeah, me too. And, and I like to yap. And so. we yeah, and we can debate. We, you, you guys can see us argue live. Yeah, we always argue because we have very different of opinions and a lot of things. Yeah, we going crazy. <laughs> But, all right, we're dragging it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so if you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button. Smash that thumbs up button down below. And if you guys have any ideas or anything that you guys, if you guys want a part two to this, let us know in the comment section below. And is there anything else you want to say? Mm -mm, that's it. That was, man, that was nasty. The club one was nasty. The diarrhea one was nasty. All right, yeah. Oh, all right. With all that being said, we'll see you guys in the next video.